But hey, welcome back. It is collaboration time again. This is one of our favorite types of videos. Mm -hmm. And if you have never seen one of these before, this is where we team up with some of our favorite RV YouTube friends and we all talk about the same topic on the same date. Yes. It's October. Yeah. So we're sticking with the October theme. And what are we talking about this month? This month we're gonna talk about things that scare us the most about RVing. Yeah, and we didn't really talk that much in detail when we talked to the group about how we were gonna tackle this. So I think some folks are talking about creepy or spooky things that they've run across in their travels. And yeah. some of us are talking about things that scare us the most about RV life. So yeah. after you watch this video, make sure you pop over to these other channels and see what their take is on what scares them the most about RVing or spooky stuff or scary stuff that they've run across while they're RVing. And we have a special guest this month yes. in the collaboration, John and Carolyn from Grand Shamrock Tour. So make sure you pop over to their channel and give them a watch also. And um, let's get right into it. All right, let's do this. Let's get spooky. Ooh. So we are going to go in the direction of what scares us the most about RVing. Okay. Because RV life can be scary, especially if you're a full-timer. Yeah. So I think we talked off camera before we came on here and we agree on what scares us the very, very most. Mm -hmm. And what scares us the most is being displaced. Yeah. Having to be out of the RV, not being able to travel or being killed <laughs> or even worse. -er. Yeah. <laughs> so there's even several worse -er. ways that this could happen. Yeah. And we've had several issues that have happened to us on the road. But luckily, we haven't been displaced for long periods of time. Mm -mm. But that doesn't mean it's not possible. It's true. Because we've had friends who yeah. have had, like, serious accidents. Yeah. Serious damage. Um, they thought they had insurance coverage that they didn't have. Yeah. So they weren't able to get, like, a rental or a hotel. And so those insurance documents, you read them and you're like, oh, I'm covered. I'm good. But then when yeah. something happens, maybe you're not covered. Yeah, that fine print in there. Yeah. <laughs> so that scares me a lot. Yes. Okay, so another displacement scare would be weather-related storms. Yeah. Weather scares the crap out of me, it, uh, if I'm being honest. It scares you a lot more than it scares me. Well, here there's some specific things that scare me about weather, like tornadoes. Yes. Tornadoes are scary. There's no safe place in an RV to hide from a tornado. No. So, and you know, most campgrounds have what they call their emergency shelter, but it's usually like a little bathroom or a little laundry room. Yeah. And there's like this huge park with like 500 people and, and like this little bathroom, like two or three bathhouses. <laughs> there were, there's no way we're all going to fit in it. So, you know, some people just got to risk it. Yeah, that, that is true. Or jump in a ditch, you know, <laughs> tornado is yeah. the worst. And I think that, that is the worst weather fear. Hail and wind, because a lot of these campgrounds, you're under trees and we've seen where trees have fallen over on RVs or branches have fallen over on RVs or hail has gone like through the, through the roof. fantastic fan Bust out covers. All your windows. Yeah. yeah. So. If that happens, you're going to be displaced. Yes. And hopefully your insurance company will cover it. <laughs> hopefully. Another thing is fire, mm -hmm. which is so scary. Yeah. Which we know firsthand because we've had a house fire. Yes, we have. Back in 2001, when we were in the military still, mm -hmm. we had a house fire and we lost everything. And yeah. luckily we got out alive. Yep. But then that was an apartment. And these RVs, they go up way, way, way faster. faster than that. So we're a little spooked. We have probably more fire extinguishers than we need. <laughs> and we always have since the fire. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a good precaution to, yeah. to take. But but these fire extinguishers, they're not designed to save your uh, RV. Oh, absolutely not. They're designed for you to be able to get out. Yeah. And that's it. So it's always a good idea. If you don't have like that mm -hmm. super cool, super expensive fire extinguishing system. Yeah, which would be nice, but yeah. yeah but if you don't have costly. that, you should have a fire extinguisher in every single room. And you should definitely have one in your truck because a fire doesn't just happen at campgrounds. It's true. It can happen it's while true. you're driving. We've seen that too. We've driven past when RVs were just, oh, just torching fire. Yeah. They'll just catch fire. So if you don't have time to get unhooked and your vehicle is on fire, guess what? Your RV is going to go with it. Yeah. And yeah. then you're displaced. <laughs> Back Again. To being displaced. Okay, next scare, GPS. Not reliable. Not reliable. Not always. Yeah. 
even the RV GPS that we have had in the past and the one we've had now have still taken us down some sketch areas. Yes, or it wants you to go down something that just doesn't look right. And you're yeah. like, why would it want me to go this way? And you question it yeah. and you have to get out <laughs> your phones and everything else and look at maps and say, yeah, no, that even if you could do it, it's not the most convenient route they usually end up wanting you to take. Yeah. So we can't trust it completely. And and not only the GPS, but even sometimes when you get into the campground, I'm scared of getting stuck in tight spots. Like if I take a turn too tight and you get up like next to a pole or a fence or someone else's I RV, too tight. at some point you are at a point to where no matter whether you go forward or backwards, you're going to destroy something. Yes. Yeah, and then you're just like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. What is this guy thinking? He was definitely not making that corner. What an idiot. Dairy Queen is going to be pissed. Yeah, what, what do you destroy? Oh pick man, your, <laughs> pick your destruction. We've gotten pretty close, close on some things on those, but we've never gotten to the point of no return to where we're gonna destroy something. Yeah, but it gives me anxiety thinking yeah. that it's a possibility to get in a situation like that. So it scares me. Yeah. All right, the last fear that we're gonna talk about is is pretty serious fear. And I had this fear in everything, not just RV life. True. True. And that's fear of failure. Yeah, will we be any good at RVing? Yeah, will we be <laughs> any good at RVing? Will we be any good at this YouTube thing? Will we uh, get stuck and not be able to get into a campground because reservations or costs? Or, you know, really, you're really only one or two major emergencies away from just being taken completely off the road. Exactly. Out of your control, no matter how yeah. much money you have. Yeah. So, yeah, fear of fear of failure or running out of money or a spot to stay. I yeah. mean, we are not boondockers, you know that. We're so, going to try to be, though. Yeah. We're going to work on that. But right now, it's not like we can just go park in a field until we figure it out that's not we don't have that set up yeah we're not built for that yet <laughs> so and there's always backup plans if you run out of money and go work camping or you can go back to work but i mean there is really for a lot of people who are full-time rvers mm -hmm. the fear is really real right now because you have invested all of the money that you earned by like selling your house into your rv and into your truck or into your class a yeah. And so all that money is is invested and so you can't go backwards right now anyway yeah. and especially because right now at the moment the interest rates on housing is so high if you did decide to come off the road at this moment because you were out of money or just couldn't get into campgrounds can cost you more money <laughs> can you even afford to do that or are yeah. you just completely stuck yeah that's scary yeah but we're not saying all of this to scare you off from RVing no but it is scary stuff and it's good things to think about if you're thinking about living this lifestyle. One thing maybe I would say to always do in any of these scenarios and other scenarios from our collab is trust your gut. On That's true. All those moments when you're in those moments, trust your gut. Yeah, I think our gut has saved us a couple of it times. It has definitely saved us. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, plans to go somewhere, but then it doesn't seem right, or it seems like a sketch campground, or... The weather's iffy. Yeah, we have we have ran away from hurricanes. We've ran away from inclement weather, tornadoes. If we think there's a high probability for that kind of weather, we'll run away. California wildfires. Yeah, so all that kind of stuff. Yeah, trust your gut. Yeah. Hey, leave us a comment and let us know what scares you the most about RVing. Yeah. And don't forget to pop over to these other channels and check out what they're talking about this month and what scares them about RV living. Or maybe you'll hear some cool stories about some spooky stuff that has scared them along the way. Hey, stick around for a few more seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.